delegation of House Republicans have traveled to the border to evaluate the situation. Congressman Tom McClintock is one of those U.S. lawmakers at the border. He toured an area along the Rio Grande River, river this morning um, and yesterday, I believe. He joins us now. Congressman, good to see you. Um, thanks so much for coming on. Look, this has been such a talker here in the headlines. If you can, tell us about what you've seen so far at the border. I've seen the collapse of our border. Uh, I, I've seen uh, hundreds of people uh, just last night. They, I think, took in 1,800. Uh, many of them coming to surrender themselves because they know that they will be admitted into the United States if they're claiming they're under 18 or they have a young uh, a child in their company under six years old. They're essentially granted automatic admittance to the United States. Uh, we saw a, a large number of uh, these migrants. Uh, in the company of small children uh, uh, that were literally being loaded on buses at the border to be taken to a bus stop. They, a lot of them were not even going to a processing center. They were going to a bus stop uh, to be uh, transported where they wanted to go. Um, uh, you, the, the, we're long past the debate over a border crisis. The question is now whether we have a border at all, and in large part, we don't. I want to go to the, what, what you just talked about, uh, them getting on the buses and being uh, taken to different facilities, um, some of these uh, holding facilities. Ha have you, were you able to see any of these holding facilities or maybe the condition of these facilities? Yes, uh, uh, and the pictures that you've seen, uh, I think, accurately depict it. These are cattle pens uh, uh, where you have hundreds and hundreds of young people um, uh, crammed into uh, 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 enclosed areas. Um, uh, many of them have COVID. I mean, I cannot think of a more effective viral incubator uh, than putting people in that kind of close proximity for a long period in these, in these plastic cattle pens. And there's the emotional part of it, right? There was a video that surfaced earlier here, a child in tears, I believe nine or ten years old around that area here. We blur his face out, obviously, because of consent laws and that thing. But um, this boy says he was abandoned in the desert by the people that he was accompanied with. He was picked up by one of the officials there at the border, but sobbing his eyes out. He's all alone. Um, but it comes as the administration opens a new site to hold unaccompanied migrant children, like you want the one you saw there. Um, is that enough? And, and, and what do you what do you make of that? Having to open up a facility now for unaccompanied minors? Well, the, the, the numbers are staggering. Uh, uh, about 18,000 unaccompanied minors in custody right now. Now, by the way. That doesn't. Uh, that, that's not the same 16,000 that was reported last week. I mean, this is this is a, a throughput that's going on, uh, and they're all, they're a valley, very valuable commodity. They are automatic entry into the United States, uh, uh, and that's been made possible by the Biden administration's policies. There's a reason why all of these children are now being uh, uh, sent on this 2,000-mile trail of terror because they're admitted. Uh, uh, it, it is Biden's policies that are literally encouraging this to happen and creating the conditions where we have all of these tragic uh, uh, pictures. Uh, Congressman, just 30 seconds with you here. It's now reported that the Biden administration will, will now uh, fill the gaps, if you will, on the border wall to reenter border wall construction again, something that on the campaign trail uh, the opposite was said to happen. What do you make on this reverse by the Biden administration on the border wall? Well, the Border Patrol has said that the wall is absolutely essential to, 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 for them to do their jobs because it channels traffic to legal ports of entry um, where they can actually uh, enforce our immigration laws. Um, uh, so uh, I, I think it is inevitable. It has to be done. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm glad to see that, that the administration is starting to correct the terrible decisions that have led to this crisis. All right, we'll leave it right there. That is Congressman Tom McClintock. Thank you so much, Congressman. Good to see you. Appreciate your time. Thanks. Still ahead, we're still.